Hey, I'm Alex, and today we're going to start working on CS50's Introduction to Programming with Python course, um, which I finished a couple of days ago, and I found pretty interesting, although it's definitely easier than CS50's Introduction to Computer Science, which I'm not sure is that great. I was hoping to get slightly harder problems, uh, but I believe it still helps you build a strong foundation in programming. So the, the problem we are going to solve now is indoor voice. It's a very short one. That's why the video is short as well. Um, it's the first problem from PSAT zero. So it's just the basics here. And let's read the problem prompt and then start writing the code. Uh, indoor voice. Writing in all caps is like yelling. Best to use your indoor voice sometimes writing entirely in lowercase. In a file called indoor.py, implement a program in Python that, that prompts the user for input and then outputs the same input in lowercase. Punctuation and white space should be outputted unchanged. You're welcome but not required to prompt the user explicitly as by passing a string of your own as an argument to input. Okay. Um, so, before we begin, let's create some um, directories or at least one that we're going to use. So I'll start, let me clean on the terminal. I'll start by creating a new directory because I already have these here where I've put my solution. So I'm going to say MD, uh, MK uh, dir, which means make a new directory, um, which is going to be called PSET zero video or tutorial. Let's make that. And then I will say cd pset zero tutorial. So what I'm doing right now is I'm saying change my current directory to this one. So I'm going to enter this um, folder that I just created. And once I am in, I want to create a new one, which is going to be called indoor. So this is going to be a directory uh, for the current problem that we're solving. So mkdir make a directory indoor. So again, I'm going to use cd indoor to say change my current directory to indoor. And then we're going to create our file. So that's the command we can use code indoor.py to create a new file. So code indoor.py. There we go. So now we have our file and we're safe to start writing code. So we can come here and start by taking the user's input. How can we do that? Well, we can use the input method input. And then inside of these brackets, we can write a message to the user. So we can prompt him. We can say, please enter um, a message or whatever it is. I'll call it a message. So we'll have quotes, please enter a message like that. I'm going to put a space as well. Um, so something I want you to pay attention to is the fact that in Python, we can use both single or double quotes. It doesn't matter as long as they're like the same before and after the string. I usually prefer using single quotes, but I just wanted to let you know that they're both valid options. So once we have this message, let's save it in a variable. How can we store it in a variable? Well, we can just say um, create a new variable, which is going to be called message. And it equals the result from this input prompt. So once the user enters a message, we're going to store it inside of this variable called message. Now, what do we want to do next? Well, this message has to be outputted in lowercase. So the way we can do it, let's first print it. We'll just say print this message. So right now it's going to be the same as the one we entered. Uh, it's not going to be an, uh, in uppercase, but I just wanted to check if everything's good here. So let's go to the terminal and write Python. Um, and then the name of our file, so indoor.py. By the way, I'm sorry that my terminal has such a small font. I will increase it for the next video. So please enter a message. And let's enter the message hello with uppercase and then word with lowercase. So right now we just see the same message that we've entered. There is no difference because we haven't manipulated it yet. So let's do that now. 
How can we convert this message into lowercase? Well, it's really simple. We just come here to this message and we say dot and then we use the method lower. So lower. That's the method we use in Python. Now, I want you to pay attention to these brackets. This means that we're currently calling this method. So if you don't use them, um, then it's not going to work properly. But once you do um, and you run the program, let's write the same message. Hello with uppercase word with lowercase. We can see that the entire message is in lowercase now. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot um, increase the font of the terminal only from here. But yes, you can see our result. Another option would be to place this method at the top when taking the input. So take the input, convert it to lowercase, and then just print this message. So that would work the same way. Python indoor.py. Let's take an example from here. Um, let's take this. This is CS50. There we go. And it's entirely in lowercase. So that's pretty much the solution of our entire problem. It, it, it's just two lines of code, right? So let's just run check 50 to ensure that all of the tests have passed. And we can see that we have all smiles, which means that our tests have passed. So this was a short tutorial of the first problem from Beside Zero. I hope you've liked it and I'll see you in the next video.